Hello, everybody. Welcome to day 26 of self-imposed quarantine from COVID-19. I'm Rebecca, the Alabama librarian, soon to be, maybe, Rebecca, the Tennessee librarian, who will hopefully still have a job in Alabama. <laughs> Long story, but the short story is there is house news. That's right. I'm sure you had given up on it by this point, and you were wondering, is this, is this ever going to happen? I was starting to wonder the same thing, but there has been progress. There is news. That news is the appraisal is back. Yes, if you're keeping score, the appraisal was ordered on March 12. It came back yesterday, April 10. So that's been a good character lesson. Um, this is my first time buying a house, as you might have noticed. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, okay, like I'll research what I can, but otherwise I am leaning on the experts here to tell me what they're doing and what I should be doing and all that good stuff. <laughs> so that's been good. Um, the interesting news there is that the appraisal came in for $5,000 less than the number we put on the contract. And if you're new to the house buying process, the bank will only loan you up to the amount that's listed on the appraisal. Like they don't want to overpay for a house or over loan for a house, I guess. So either that would mean that I would need to show up at closing with $5,000 more than I was counting on bringing to closing, or we go back to the sellers, my realtor and I, and we say, hey, can you lower the price of the house to meet the appraiser's estimate of what your house is worth? So we took that second option and the seller said, yeah, we'll lower the cost of the house to what the appraisal says. But also, we're not going to pay as much money towards your closing costs. So they're still paying some of it, um, but about half of what they were going to pay before. I ran those numbers past my lender, and I was like, hey, what would I need to bring to closing in this new situation? She gave me a figure. I looked at my accounts. I looked at my budget. I was like, yes, this is doable. So I gave everybody the green light. They're currently working on the paperwork. They're thinking, maybe... We could close this Friday. <gasps> so it's exciting to have it be so close after waiting for a little while. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you posted. Let's see, what else is going on? Um, I have just ordered groceries, which is big news in this household. Always exciting when something new enters the apartment. I have ordered things for broccoli fritters, spinach omelets, a carrot cake for Easter tomorrow, which is very exciting. Also, I'm going to try Mr. Potter, my second kitty, my senior kitty, on some new canned food. I've ordered him some senior support food since he's 15 years old. And also some coat and skin support food, since his coat and skin are not in the best of, of shape. So hopefully we'll get him whipped into shape and eating lots of good food and feeling healthy. So that's the plan. Let's see. What else do we have? We have today's poem. I felt like we needed a little E.E. E. Cummings in our lives today. So this is his poem, In Just. In Just Spring... When the world is mud luscious, the little lame balloon man whistles far and we, and Eddie and Bill come running from marbles and piracies, and it's spring when the world is puddle wonderful, the queer old balloon man whistles far and we, and Betty and Isbel come dancing from hopscotch and jump rope, and it's spring, and the goat-footed balloon man whistles far and we. I love that poem. Once again, that's In Just by E.E. E. Cummings. A link to it at the Poetry Foundation will be in the description. So friends, I hope you stay safe this Easter weekend, if, if Easter is something you observe. I hope you have an excellent time of it this weekend. And please stay safe and please take care of your neighbors whenever you get a chance. Mwah, love you. Bye.